Welcome guys to the 12th tutorial of PLC automation and this is Gagan from lifelearnings.com. This tutorial is based on scale instruction of a PLC and we will also discuss some of the basic terms related to the ADC of a PLC. For a PLC device, if we are dealing with analog inputs and outputs, then we have two types of analog input output cards. Either we can go for voltage type card or current type card. For a voltage type card, we have a range of minus 10 volt to plus 10 volt DC. And for a current card, we have a range of 4 to 20 milliamps. I have a voltage input card for my select flexis rail PLC. So I will go for a voltage range from 0 to 10 volt. I will not go for negative voltage. The ADC of PLC is of 16 bits. The bits from 0 to 14 are for conversion result and the bit 15 is for sign. So if this bit is 0, the result will be positive or if this bit is 1, the result will be negative. The next term related to the PLC ADC is step size and step size is equal to V max divided by 2 raised to power 15. So I already told you that if we are using voltage input type card, then the range is from positive to negative 10 volt and 2 raised to power 15 is equal to 32768 so after division the approximate value is 0 0.305 millivolts this step size is required to calculate the digital conversion output which is d out here so d out is equal to v in divided by step size and v in is the signal voltage from the sensor now consider if a sensor is providing 2 volt signal to the PLC analog input then what will be the D out after conversion. So first I will convert 2 volt into 2000 millivolt then divide it by 0.305 millivolt which is the step size. You will get 6557 value after the conversion. These all are the variables for a scale instruction. First one is the enable. So whenever the enable signal is high then only the scale instruction block will be enabled for calculation. ENO is enable output. So whenever the result of the scale instruction is greater than 0 it will activate the ENO pin. These three variables are for input data. IP is the analog input channel of the PLC. ISL is the input scaling low value. ISH is the input scale high value. These three variables are for data output. Out variable is for scaled output. DSL is for display scale low value and DSH is for display scale high value. These variables will be more clear to you if we deal with one application example in the latter programming. Create a new project in Cellpro software. Go to edit wizard and the scale instruction is under the arithmetic instruction. This is the scale instruction. So these all are the variables of the scale instruction. First I will connect the EN pin of the scale instruction directly to the rail. I will connect ENO pin of the scale instruction to a coil. Double click on the coil, click on add variable and click on OK. So I will use MX0 memory bit for this coil. Now the IP is for analog input channel but for simulation purpose we can't use the physical input address of the analog card so we have to use some variable here. Double click on IP. If you want to assign the physical input address to this IP you have these six analog inputs PV0 to PV5 which is inserted on slot number 2 of the select flexis rail PLC. As I told you we can't use the physical analog inputs in simulation so we have to add one variable click on add variable and you can see the data type of this variable is by default int so go for integer value and type the initial value 0 click ok double click on the out variable and click on add variable this variable will store the result of conversion and after scaling click ok now these parameters are very important. I will discuss these parameters with an example. Consider this example application where I will use LM35 temperature sensor with PLC to measure the temperature. 
This temperature sensor is capable to give a range of minus 55 degrees centigrade to plus 150 degrees centigrade but consider the range from 0 degrees centigrade to 150 degrees centigrade and whenever there is a change of 1 degree centigrade in temperature the output of the LM35 will be changed by 10 millivolt. So there is a linear relation between the temperature change and the output of the LM35 that's why it is very easy to interface with any type of device. So if the maximum temperature of the LM35 is 150 degrees centigrade it will provide 1500 millivolts output. So according to this range we have V in from 0 millivolt to 1500 millivolt maximum. For a 0 millivolt signal the D out will be 0 which is the minimum value and this D out will be ISL value which is input scale low value. For D out maximum we have to divide the maximum voltage by the step size. In the case of this sensor the maximum input voltage will be 1500 millivolts so divide this by 0 0.305 and you will get 4918. So this is the value for ISH input scale high. So these two values of the scale instruction will depend upon the V in minimum to V in maximum value. Then the DSL and DSH which is the display low and display high scaling value depend upon the required parameter. So in this case we want to display the temperature from 0 degree to 150 degree centigrade. So simply the DSL will be 0 and DSH will be 150. ISL double click on it click on add variable and initial value is 0. Double click on ISH and click on add variable and this value is 4918 according to the maximum range of the temperature sensor. Click on OK. Now DSL is equal to 0. Double click on it, add variable and initial value is 0. DSH is the maximum temperature which we will measure through the temperature sensor so it is 150. Click on OK. Go for offline simulation. Initially the IP value is 0 because this value is from analog channel but we are not using the analog channel this is saved in a G variable 1. So double click on IP and here you can provide any value for the analog input. If I type 1000 then according to this 1000 the temperature is 30 degree centigrade and you will get the temperature value in out variable. Again double click on IP to change the value. If I type 2000 then the temperature value is 61. So you can go up to maximum 150 degree centigrade with this type of setting in scale instruction. We can consider one application where we have to monitor the temperature of the device and we have to turn on a fan if the temperature is considered greater than 50 degree centigrade. So for that we have to add one compare instruction. I will use greater than block. Whenever the temperature is greater than 50 degree activate one fan. So for that fan I will connect one coil. Double click on it and that fan will be connected to out 0 of the PLC. Click OK. Now for this compare instruction in 1 will be the value of out of scale instruction which is G variable 2. Double click on in 1 and select G variable 2. Click OK click on in2, click add variable and initial value is 50 for 50 degree centigrade, click ok. Go for offline simulation. Now the temperature is 0. This 0 is not greater than this set limit of temperature that's why this coil is off. So let's increase the value for this IP, double click on IP and uh, consider the value 1500 and now the temperature is 45 degree centigrade 45 is not greater than 50 try to increase the value double click on IP type 2000 and the temperature is 61 61 is greater than 50 that's why this greater than block will activate the output and this output will start a cooling fan so the scale instruction is very easy to use but always first consider these four parameters for your scale instruction then only you will get the accurate output for your analog inputs. So guys I will also consider some of the applications for analog input to measure voltage or current in future but for this tutorial just practice with this scale instruction and uh, consider some different parameters for scale instruction. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel.